What's up, Average Dad fans? Welcome back to another video. And after yesterday's video, speaking about the future of foldable phones, it wasn't potentially the most positive outlook for large format foldable phones. So I wanted to make this video talking about the four most exciting foldable phones to look forward to in the next four months. Yes, the future of large format foldable phones might be bleak in the long term, but short term, we have got a lot to look forward to. Let's go. Now, the four foldable phones I want to talk about are the Google Pixel Fold 2, the Xiaomi Mix Fold 4, the Samsung Z Fold 6 Ultra, and the OnePlus Open 2. Four, hopefully, global release phones with global ROMs. Yes, none of the Chinese ROM nuance, even though my X Fold 3 Pro is absolutely fantastic and everything's working perfect for me. It is always nice to talk about a Chinese foldable phone such as a Xiaomi that is still potentially not confirmed coming globally. And before we get into why these are the four foldable phones I am most looking forward to, I wanted to do a bit of a call to action. The Average Dad channel is about to hit 23,000 subscribers, which is a fantastically huge number, way beyond my expectations. However, we can always aim bigger. So, as a bit of an incentive to you all, all of the loyal viewers, and if you're new here, thank you for coming along, I want to do a special giveaway. Yes, the biggest giveaway I have ever done, and I do do many. I do do. It's like a Chandler Bing moment. I am going to give away one of the four foldable phones we are discussing in this video for Christmas. Yes, they will all be well released by then. All their software bugs, if any, will be ironed out through updates. In December of 2024, I will be giving away one of these phones to someone that comments their favourite in the comments of this video. But there is a catch. I want to hit I think a fairly achievable subscriber goal of 40,000 subs by December 1st. Yes, I know, it might sound crazy. How am I going to get 17k subs in only seven or so months? Well, I think with your help, we can do it. And those that know me absolutely know this is a guarantee, this is a promise. One of you will get one of the phones you want. Just leave your comments below. That's it. That's a call to action. Simple. 40k subs, one of you gets a 12 to 1700 pounds foldable phone. And that's a promise. So, phones wise, let's talk about the Pixel Fold 2 first. Why not? One of the major selling points for me for the Google Pixel Fold original was the aspect ratio of the outer screen. It was, and still is to this day, the widest outer screen on any foldable device, and I am all for it. I loved that kind of squished aspect ratio that gave me full QWERTY keyboard, full functionality and all social media apps nothing was too squished in or felt too narrow i absolutely loved it now can the same be said for the inner screen of the pixel fold original no it wasn't great or i should say it isn't great so google are addressing this but they're doing it in a way that won't please everyone it doesn't really please me they're essentially just copying the form factor of phones such as the Honor Magic V2 and to some degree the OnePlus Open. The Google Pixel Fold 2 will have a narrower outer screen, unfortunately. However, with it being a taller aspect ratio, somewhere around 21 by 9, 
it's going to have a more square inner screen. And that was the downfall of the Pixel Fold original. Everything was just not optimized for vertical apps. Any of your social media scrolling through Instagram Reels, TikTok, YouTube Shorts didn't look great. You had massive black banners on the left and right of that. And it was, yeah, frustrating. And that didn't stop there, unfortunately. And this is why I'm most excited about the Pixel Fold 2. Because software-wise, Google have worked extensively with Samsung. I have seen how OnePlus have managed to master the software in the OnePlus Open using Android. So I am confident this time round, Google will get it right. And the software optimization, the multitasking, the style of support that they just seem to forget about with the original Pixel Fold is all going to come in the Pixel Fold 2. So for all of those gains, I can forgive losing out on the shorter, wider aspect ratio. Now moving on, the next one I want to discuss, let's talk about the Samsung. And actually, there's a theme here, let's talk about aspect ratios. For five years since the release of the original Z Fold, or was it even seven years ago, the aspect ratio of the outer screen has been woeful. Some people out there seem to like the thin, one-handed, remote-control-like grip you get, but I still to this day believe that even those people are only saying that because they've forked out so much money for an inferior device. Sorry. It's true, Samsung Knights. Sorry. But with the Samsung Z Fold 6 Ultra, the aspect ratio should be changing to mirror the OnePlus Open. And if I had to choose, it's between the OnePlus Open, the V2, or the X Fold 3 for the perfect foldable phone aspect ratio. The issue the OnePlus Open has is its size and weight. Dimensions-wise, 12.9 millimeters, 260 grams is just too heavy nowadays. Vivo have just shown us what they can do in terms of size and weight with a foldable phone. So I'm hopeful that the Samsung Z Fold 6 Ultra will also bring with it a slimmer and lighter design while keeping a brand new wider aspect ratio. And with it being a Samsung, and with it being later on in the year, it will have a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 4 Galaxy chip. It will have One UI 7. If you don't know, if you never use a Samsung phone, it's their biggest selling point for me. Their unique selling point is their software. For years, One UI has been king in the software skin for me, paired with the Good Lock app. And obviously the Samsung 4 Galaxy chip, performance, efficiency, customization, everything's just on point. Now another aspect about the Ultra, and for those that don't believe the Ultra is coming, there are many, many rumours and leaks, and I would say hard evidence to show that the Ultra is absolutely coming. There are even model numbers released. There are even invoices and shipping labels showing that these phones are shipped to only South Korea. But don't worry, we can import from South Korea, Wanda Mobile. So the other area the Samsung Z Fold 6 has to improve on is cameras. For too long, we've had the same triple 12 megapixel sensors. Yes, I know recently it got upgraded on the Z Fold 5 to 50 megapixel, but we need more. We need five times telephoto. We need the 200 megapixel lens taken from the Ultra. And again, rumours are, might just be what we're getting. The Ultra designated phone with the 8 serial number at the end should have the Ultra cameras from the S24 Ultra. And then Samsung are back in business. And that's why I'm excited about the Samsung. For too long... They've rested on their laurels, while phones like the Pixel Fold, the OnePlus Open, the Honor Magic V2, and now the Vivo X Fold 3, and there are others, have overtaken them in terms of hardware. Not, not just overtaken them, like left them back at the start line. 
So hopefully big changes from Samsung. And now let's talk about OnePlus. There are very few rumours or leaks about the OnePlus Open. There are literally no renders or images. So apologies, you're going to have to deal with footage of the original OnePlus. But that's okay. Because design-wise, it's the best designed foldable phone on the planet, in my opinion. I absolutely love the look of that huge, circular, centred rear camera. I love the aspect ratio that I've talked about before, the 6.3 inch diagonal, the square inner screen. Everything about this phone design-wise screams class. Build quality as well. And I think that's ultimately why we're not seeing too many rumours or leaks. I think the OnePlus Open 2, while I am excited about it, while it does feature in this video, is going to be a very incremental upgrade. It's going to get a newer chip, the 8 Gen 3. It might get better cameras all round, slightly better lenses, but it'll be the same megapixels and it'll be the same zoom length. But we potentially might get the latest Sony sensor. I think it was like the LT808 or something they used in the OnePlus Open. So it might go up to the 900. And other than that, looks-wise and specs-wise, I really can't see them changing. There will be another colour potentially. And it might be thinner and lighter. So you're probably wondering, well, Mike, why the hell are you excited for it if it's just the same phone? Well, the OnePlus Open was the best phone the best foldable phone of last year, in my opinion. And because of its release date, it came out with the 8 Gen 2 chip, just as the 8 Gen 3 chip was about to come out. So getting a later chip with better performance, a slightly larger battery, yeah, that ticks all the boxes for me when it comes to OnePlus. So I am looking forward to the Open 2. And that takes us to the Mix Fold 4. Straight away, I can tell you this phone is going to be cheaper than all of the others but it will be the first global release of a foldable phone from Xiaomi so I think the price will be round about £1,500 and they will throw in a tablet a watch, a case Like they're going to throw all the goodies at you to try and get you to buy and folks if you haven't bought a Xiaomi device before they are stunning 13 Ultra one of the best candy phones of last year the 14 Ultra, one of the best candy bar phones of this year. The Mix Fold 2, best looking foldable ever, potentially, in the silver colour I had. The Mix Fold 3, carbon fibre edition, stunning. So design wise, build quality wise, specs wise, the Mix Fold 4 is going to be on point. Looking very similar to the Mix Fold 2 and 3 in terms of aspect ratio, 6.5 inch outer display, and an 8.03 inch inner display, one of the largest foldable phones on the planet. However, we're going to get newer cameras, we're going to get a bigger battery, we're going to keep 50 watts wireless charging, we're going to get the 8 Gen 3 chip, but by far the biggest bonus of the Mix Fold 4 is its global release. We have not had a global release of a Xiaomi foldable phone. We have not had a global release of, other than the Honor Magic V2, have we ever had a global Chinese foldable release? Let me know in the comments if we have. So that's why I'm excited for the Mix Fold 4. That's why I'm excited for all four of these foldable devices. But let me know, am I missing something? Is there a foldable phone out there that you are most excited about? Rest assured, I will buy them all and review them all and sell them all probably on to you for cheaper than I buy them because that's what I do. So please remember I have a subscriber goal. If I reach that goal you will get one of the four foldable phones that have been featured in this video and if I don't reach that subscriber goal it's okay. I appreciate every single one of you for the support. If you've got any questions about a device I have or a device I've featured in this video let me know in the comments. And until next time.